Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to look at OneDrive Uninstaller. And it does exactly what it says. It uninstalls OneDrive which is right over here in your tray all the time. If you're not going to use it, this will remove it. It is a batch file. It's not for everybody and we'll show you why. You can see there's no screenshots here because batch files don't often give you anything to show. So let's download it by downloading it Major Geeks. Wait three to five seconds the download will automatically begin uh, Chrome will say oh my god it's dangerous click on keep and as always while we're a download site we always say if you don't trust us your security software says it's bad you want to believe them we're fine with that don't if you're not sure don't use it but this is why we test things for you now normally when you get an executable you can click it here but let's not play around instead close your browser out and head to wherever the file is, in my case downloads, and there it is. What you're going to want to do here is right click and run it as administrator and when you do Windows Smart Screen will try and stop it because it doesn't recognize the app so you click run anyway. Now as you see when I click this briefly, real fast, a window will pop up executing what's in it. There you go, now you're done. Um, worth mentioning oh, where do I have it here? I hardly use it especially since I'm in my VMware. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Windows Accessories, Notepad. If you want to get a little better idea of what a batch file is, it's a script. So all it is is telling it to run certain things and it pops up the DOS window, runs them in seconds and you're done. So there's nothing, in case you wanted to look at it, you could actually Geeks could modify it themselves, but if you're a geek, you already knew that. So, Okay, it's run. So the first thing we're going to want to do is reboot. And we'll give that a minute. And the reason being is, again, if it was an application, it'd have an interface and say, okay, let's remove it. It's removed. Now reboot. You don't have that with this. So once you're all done with the reboot, it should be gone. However, we did run into a glitch where... It didn't always remove it on the first try. I talked to the author, he said to run it again, and sure enough, that fixed it. I also submitted a bug with the program that when it's completed, when you go to start, the OneNote icon is still there. Obviously, you could just right click on it. Uh, where is it here? Or not OneNote. Oh, yeah, that's great. I'm going to tell you the wrong name of the program OneDrive. Uh, do, 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 do. There it is right there. So this will be here, but you can just right click and you can remove it. Click the uninstall button. So as you can see, it's gone. So we got it on the first try on this one. That's it. You would be done. So you just want to go in and remove it from there. So once again, if you're not happy using batch files, you're watching this video, wondering a little bit about it. It's not too difficult to do, but there are no option settings. You run it and that's it. So if you're confident doing that and you just want to remove OneDrive by itself, it's really, really handy for that. Otherwise, if you want to remove all this garbage under Start and Xbox crap and whatnot, you could use IOBit Uninstaller, for example, and you could go into the Uninstall program and you'll find Windows, and under the Windows things you can delete everything. So, But if you just want OneDrive off, not too tough. I'll drop a link for the download below. And as always, we thank you for watching and we thank you for subscribing and we'll see you next time.